Hi! Good morning mga bisadza! Kumusta naman mo? This is once again your friend. My name is Eric Aniga and I would like to welcome you all to my channel, Ang Bisadza. Actually, I have just arrived home from the office because kaibamo, after a few hours of stay in our office, we received an order coming from our immediate supervisor and we were instructed to go home because we are to observe the work from home scheme. <laughs> Anong mag-work from home scheme on me? Because it was found out that last week, an employee of our institution that is on a job order scheme entered our office and she was found out to be a direct contact of somebody who is found positive of COVID-19. <laughs> and it is part of the protocol of our agency to lock down the office and have the work from home scheme in order to prevent the the spreading of the virus so here i am i will be working from home and it will be until we will receive the result of the swab because that uh, personnel who came to our office will have her swab test this afternoon and once the result will be out and we are praying and we are hoping that it will turn negative so that we can go back to our office we cannot afford not to report to office because of the many works uh, that we have to accomplish because our institution will have to undergo the ISO uh, accreditation uh, next week that is why every moment is very precious and we cannot afford to be not in our office so let us just pray and hope that everything will turn all right and we all can go back to our office to continue our task but anyway if this is your first time to watch my video welcome to my channel frederick aniga ang bisaja and i invite you to like my video and of course share this video so that other people will also be able to watch my video and of course subscribe my channel frederick aniga ang bisaja So today, I just want to share with you what I feel and what I think about what happened in our office today in relation to the prevention of COVID-19 and the pandemic. Uh, one thing that I have realized is that we cannot really control the situation. You see, I have been very careful pertaining to observing the protocols set by the IATF, by the DOH and the WHO. In fact, I always remind everybody to please observe all the things that we are instructed to do in order to contain the virus. But you see, there are just instances that situations are uncontrollable, just like what happened to our office. As you see, our office is open to many people. People come and go. In our office because of their transactions that they have to make and we don't know though inside the office we are observing the protocols even if we are inside the office we wear face masks and we keep distant from each other but you see there are just people who would come to our office and we do not know where they come from uh, although in our office the setup is uh, people from the outside who would come to the office uh, stay in one place and we don't have any close contact with them. We keep the social or the physical distancing in order to make sure that if ever they are carrying the virus, we cannot be contaminated. But with the protocol and the guidelines that are implemented by our institution, it is part of the guideline to close the office, have it sanitized, and then send all the workers home in order to prevent further contamination. There is an assumption that we are already carrier of the virus. <laughs> I cannot imagine myself a carrier of the virus, but we do not know. That is why our institution is just making sure that the virus will be contained 
and cannot contaminate others. That is why we have to work in our respective homes. And the more that we have to isolate ourselves and practice physical distancing so that the virus cannot spread farther. So we will just be waiting. Perhaps uh, the result of the swab test will come in three days. So after that, uh, we can go back to our office if in case and we are hoping fervently and we are praying that it will turn out negative so that we can go back to our normal setup in the office so that's it no matter how careful you are no matter how observant we are with the protocols there are just instances that is beyond or that are beyond our control just like what happened to us now a while ago i said i cannot imagine myself a career of the virus this line actually struck me after i have said that because i feel that this reaction is common to everybody that is the immediate reaction that we will have to deny that we have the virus you see this is one problem why that the virus keep on spreading because we have this attitude we have this behavior to deny that we have the virus and continue our lives just like nothing happened and this is dangerous because if we will maintain and keep this kind of mentality, keep this kind of attitude, keep on denying that we have the virus and we'll just continue on living our lives and pretend that nothing happened, then the virus will not be contained. And so that is why I also have to be careful and always remind myself that I may be a career of the virus, therefore I have to isolate myself and avoid meeting people outside my house in order to contain the virus. Let us just pray that the swab test will turn out negative so that I can also be freed from my apprehensions and fears and so that I can also go back to the normal life that we're having now during this pandemic. Uh, it is expected that work will continue at home. Actually, I am not on vacation. I am observing the work from home scheme. Therefore, I will continue working, doing the tasks that I am assigned to do in my office and also provide and deliver the expected output as if I am just transferring my office from the building that we are occupying to my place work will continue despite the pandemic this is just something new uh, a while ago when everybody was preparing to leave and bring all the necessary things so that uh, they can continue working at home there was this feeling of sadness the feeling of being surprised the feeling of being shocked and also uh, <laughs> There is this feeling of shame <laughs> because we were already aware that the rest of the building, the rest of the compound already knew about what happened. So, uh, <laughs> you know, this natural feeling of uh, the fear of being alone, the fear of being discriminated by by others that is why when we received the order from our immediate supervisor I immediately uh, gathered my things and brought it home so I am here in my home right now to have my to observe the work from home scheme uh, I just have to, to, to stay focused on my work <laughs> Because if you're at home, there is this tendency and there is this temptation. Uh, for example, uh, cooking food or going to bed or watching TV and other distractions. So I have to keep my focus on my work 
and to bear in mind that I have outputs that to be submitted and delivered in fact this afternoon I will be attending a meeting and many other tasks that I have to accomplish even if I am working at home so please pray for me pray for our office and just the same I wish everybody safety uh, always uh, observe the protocols keep yourself distant from people especially those you do not know keep wearing face mask and face shield and constant washing of hands so that you can help in the prevention of the contamination of COVID-19. I hope <laughs> that things will be all right. I hope that I can go back to my office very soon. So this is just an update of what happened to me <laughs> and my office mates in this first day of the month of March. But I am hoping that the month of March will have great things in store for all of us. Thank you for watching. Please share my video. Make your comments, be it positive or negative. I will gladly respond to it. And of course, please subscribe my channel, Frederick Aniga, Pang Bisaja. Dagang salamat sa pagtanaw.